So I was like looking up to like Twist and Amaze, KR mm -hmm. when he was out there. And then you, you know, my brothers, they had all those like on the go magazines, fucking all the graph mags, you know. So I'm, I'm looking at all this shit and I'm like a sponge just taking it all in. And then uh, when I moved to New York, I was like, oh, shit, this is this, this, this dude over here. And, you know, I started putting it all together. I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm where, I'm where the, the dude lives or paints that I just was looking at in the magazine. Like what? And, you know, and to actually see like some of the pieces in real life and shit, it was pretty sick. And, uh, when I moved to New York, it was like, you know, I just want, I just wanted to write on everything and skate, skate everywhere like that like school was cool, whatever. That's why I went. But the real thing, the real reason I wanted to go there was to write and to skate. So you moved there primarily just so it was like art school, skating, and graffiti. Yeah. I went for, I went for art school. I turned 18 in the air. I left when I was 17 and in like we flew and the time changed mm. and I was an 18-year-old in New York City and I didn't know shit about the city, nothing except for like you know, the banks, fucking the pink ledges, like uh, bubble banks, like all these skate spots and shit. That's all I knew. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go find these. I had like the fucking map quest printed out and shit to all the skate spots. I don't know if you guys know about that, but I was like, all right, you got to turn left here. Fucking this, this, and like actual printouts of, of skate spots. And while I was hitting these spots, I was writing on everything because mm. I was already writing on shit. And um, that was kind of like my little Aztec aztec warrior way of fucking uh figuring out where i've been you know how they would break the branches and shit like they'd go through a trail and be like oh shit i came through this way i'd be like oh i already wrote my name over here time to go that way or this is how i get back home or whatever you know what i mean yeah so but, um, it pretty much like just opened the doors for everything yeah hell yeah and like you talk about um meeting that kid eric at, at parties in brooklyn and just getting getting bagged for graffiti and then doing community service with people like sace um in that era of new york what was it like 2002 how much when, when you go back to new york now how much do you see that it's changed in your eyes from when you were there up until now which isn't even that long ago not even that long it's crazy and for me for that's why i always say like for me to be like damn this shit ain't even what it was before I got there in 2002, mm. you know what I mean? And for me to be able to say that is crazy. I can imagine like fools that grew up there and they're like, damn, in the 90s and the 80s, this shit was like this, you know what I mean? It changed so much. It's like, it's like nuts. But the one thing that's fucking still pretty potent is the fucking graffiti. Yeah, no, definitely. And it stays, you know what I mean? Those, those greats are the same. Those greats haven't got gentrified. They might have some fucking like new apartment complex add on there, but those are getting blasted too. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to see like the state of uh, like Laloa right now. It's completely smashed. Like you would think that af after the years went on, gentrification, all this shit, like they're going to keep it clean. But we were down there like recently and we were just walking around and thinking like during that time period you were there, like like the graph that would have been on that fucking gate and like the quality and the writers would have been just like completely different in a way. And it's it's crazy. Like I can't even imagine being in New York during that time and seeing like the writers that were up. Like, what what like stood out to you like uh, when you would walk around? Um, Fuck revs, big time revs. And that that was like one of the dudes that I looked up to before I even got to New York City, and that my brothers looked up to. They're like, yo, look at this dude's shit. You know what I mean? And there'd be like whole articles of that fool in magazines. And you're like, what? You don't, you don't. And I got to see like some of the sculptures and shit. You know what I mean? Like, like some, like this crazy ass one. I forget where it was at. In uh, getting closer to like Bushwick or some shit. But this crazy ass sculpture that was in the middle, huge revs thing coming out of it. That one that was in a planner. I would see all these all these sculptures and those things are gone. Like all that shit is gone. But there's he's that dude's got a lot of shit still. The metal stuff that. You know, you can't really pry off, but, um, but yeah, I got to see a lot of sick shit, you know, super, super hyped. And, uh, and definitely I was just like a little kid in a playground, dude, like, let's go. You know what I mean? Like, do you ever think like what would have happened if you hadn't had gone there when you went there? Cause it ended up, it was like a domino effect. It seems like when you, when I hear about your story, it was like a domino effect to 
what led to everything else and what's sick about it is like organically and through the shit that you that you already are doing which is skating and graph yeah i mean fuck i don't know what i would do if i wasn't there but probably be a fucking uh serial killer in this hotel (laughs) 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 nah um there was like I got accepted to two schools. One was out he- actually out here, kind of by Magic Mountain, by Six Flags and shit, which is fucking nowhere land. Who knows what I, I probably would have been working on Shrek or some shit. I don't know, but um, but yeah, I just fucking, I just wanted to skate. I just wanted to skate and uh, you know and ride on shit. And I got to New York and it was like, it's on. What were some of the spots that you would skate? Fuck everywhere, man everywhere like i i remember i found like this uh that green metal edge that's on the overpass that's by the east river park yeah yeah i found the short one yeah alligator ledge yeah yeah yeah. i found that thing and i thought i was the first one to ever find it and i was like what like no way and then later on like seeing full skating i was like damn i thought i found this shit you know (laughs) what i mean but that shit's been there forever and uh what else? Under under the FDR, we would take like a flat bar in the snow and shit, like and just skate there, like just finding all kinds of spots, man. Like just, it's so sick when you're coming from from out of town, and you know with with me, like when I come from when I come from out of town, I'm like, dude, I want to know everything about the city. I want to go to every nook and cranny of the city, and you know. By the time I left there, I was like telling people about shit in the city that were from there, and they'd be like, "What? What? Is, where is that? What? What is that? You know what I mean?" And I'm like, "Damn, you don't even know your own city. Like, it's crazy." And it, I mean, I think it's just like, you know, you're just so attracted to like new shit, yeah, discovering new stuff. I'm like, "Let me go see what's all the way over here," and then just going and checking it out. 